How's it going everyone? So in this video, I'm gonna talk about how many crunches to do for beginners. Um, so before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do appreciate um, the support. It helps my channel grow. Please follow me on Instagram, Dillenberg999. So the amount of crunches that you want to do really depends if you're using body weight or if you have access to weights. So if you have access to weights, then this makes it very, very simple. If you have access to plates or dumbbells, then what I recommend to do is to do ab crunches either on the floor or on a bench. And what you wanna do is you wanna do 25 repetitions in a row. The minute you can do 25 repetitions in a row for three sets, then start holding weight behind your head. So for example, what I currently do now is I get 50 pounds, so I get two 25 pound plates, I put it behind my head and I do my crunches. I do three sets of 25 repetitions and my abs are just shredded from doing that. You're not gonna start off doing 50 pounds. It's, it takes a while to get to that. Get a five pound plate, put it behind your head, start doing crunches. Once you can get, again, three sets of 25 reps, then um, add weight, uh, five pounds every time until you can until you do 25 till you do 25 reps and three sets, then just increase the weight and keep doing it like that. I find abs, higher repetitions is better for results. Um, that's my personal opinion. So that's if you're using weights, if you don't have access to plates or dumbbells and you can only do repetitions and body weight and stuff like that, basically calisthenics, then what I recommend to do is every single workout, try increasing the total amount of repetitions that you are doing do not do the exact same amount of repetitions every single day. Same if you're using weights. If you're using weights, don't do the exact same weight and reps every single day. You should be trying to increase it by one or two reps. So for example, let's say you're doing five pounds behind your head. You do your first set, you get 25 reps. Second set, you can only get 23 reps. Third reps, you can only get 23 reps. The next time you train, you should be trying to get 24 reps. Very, very simple. We're trying to progressively overload. Now, for the people that don't have access to weights, they're just doing the body weight. Again, total repetitions is very important. Say you can do 200 total repetitions for the crunches, spread across, say, five sets. Say you're doing 40 reps, five sets, 200 total reps. Next workout, maybe try to get 41 reps uh, through a couple of sets, and then that would give you an extra two repetitions. You don't have to increase by five repetitions every single time. You can increase by one repetition, two repetitions. It doesn't matter what you increase by as long as you increase it by something, you guys. That's what's important. Because the way you think about it is if you only increase it by one repetition per day, that might not seem like a lot, but in a year, that's a total of 365 extra repetitions. So that's insane. You go from doing 200 push-ups a day, or sorry, you go from doing 200 crunches a day doing almost 600 that you're going to see some amazing results so end of video thank you so much for watching